Got a ballast going to change out on the kitchen light. Um, this one has like four-way switches and three-way switches. Not sure what all controls what, so I'm just turning all the breakers out. I can reset the range and microwave time afterwards. Here's the ballast getting changed out. I have my non-contact voltage detector. can verify no power is there. And actually that switch over there probably controls this one. But now we, power is out. And got the new ballast. This one. Let's see what's going to be a good. It's always a little tricky to figure out here what's going to be a good view. Let's go with that. Okay. There's the new ballast. So we got our incoming power and outgoing power. And with this one. Oh shoot, I forgot to bring um, wire nuts. You always need a lot of wire nuts with these. So this is probably going to be um, only a few more ballast change outs before I'm going to switch over to go in LED. LED just better for the situation. So our, our yellow side is all one. That side's easy. Um, just cut and replace. And then the red side um, is going to be individual wires to each uh, ballast in this particular type of ballast. So, first I'm disconnecting the hot. There we go. And then the neutral. And then the ground, we can cut it or disconnect it. There we go. Disconnect it. And then the yellow, we can just cut it. And the red will be cut now. So here's the yellow. We're going to strip this side and make it ready. Okay. And then the reds, we can cut them all and we can make them all ready. Cover four of them. There we go. Okay. And then we can strip these and make them ready. And I hope the fuel gets what we got going, but. The light doesn't care what's where or what color the wire is. It's just the wire. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to go get a bunch of wire nuts. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that. But that's how it is. slides out on the new one. Just gonna slide that up in there. Tighten that down there and make a bunch of noise. Okay. Here. A total of six little tiny screws that hold that cover in place. Okay. Now we've got our yellow wires. They can stay together. And we've got our hot wire and neutral wire. Okay. All these can kind of stay together. 
so they're all going to get wrapped and kept here. So there's our hot, our neutral. This one has no ground, so no worries there. You just can connect up to this ground here. You could actually just left that connected. No big deal. Just the physical ground. It's a good thing, but you know, here's our hot and our neutral. Our breaker's turned off, so. There we go, hot, neutral. Like I said, I'm gonna need to go get Twisting these quite a bit together. Here's our yellows. These are all going to go together. And then each individual wire is going to go to one individual wire on each one. And I need some more nuts, and I need six nuts. Okay, so here we go. Got a bunch of wire nuts. And so all the yellows will go together. And so each of these is just going to get one lead. It doesn't matter which one. Again, the, the deal doesn't care about the colors. It's just just that these have to be separated, that's all. And that way I don't light each individual tube. And it does matter that each wire comes from the terminals over there, so. Okay, now is, I'm going to take the insulated piece of this wire here and use it to wrap up this deal. I'm going to cut both ends so there's no exposed wire, so only the insulated portion of the wire is, is um, here, and just use it to wrap these up and make it a little cleaner here. This is all going to be behind the deal. matter but it'll make putting the cover on and everything a lot easier. So I'm just wrapping these up a little better. Not necessary but The rest is going to be all under the tray. It's no big deal.
with those other little screws. But... Go. The last one up there. Good. There we go. Okay. Now our lights. Let's do one of each end. And we'll test it out. Okay, I'm going to turn all those breakers back on. No spark, no spoke, no flame. But hopefully light. Okay. Let's see what we got. Boom. Okay. One more bulb to go. There's all my little screws. Shoot. <laughs> okay. So, one up here. Made too much sense. Okay. That's what it is. We've got the end cover, height, fixture. Okay. We have this light fixture while I got it down. Light cover. Good. Okay. And then we got the end and the end cap. So. Here we go. Boom. Boom. End of the
the ads to clean off there. So we're done, nice new light. We're done deal. This is on that switch over there. And I believe it's gonna be on this switch also right here. Yes. So it's most likely to get a three-way switch. If there's another switch for it, it'd be uh, in the center, would be the four-way switch. It's done deal, okay. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross. And he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God. Something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So. Call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. So call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's gonna return for his people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years, so if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. but. Be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because, again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So put your trust in Him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because He is the Lamb the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you.